Hey everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to our impromptu live. We'll wait impromptu. for a few minutes. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the live. So, we're going to give everyone a few minutes to join. This could be an epic fail. No, don't say that. We shall see. I'm sure it's going to be great. I'm sure it's going to be awesomeness. Mm -hmm. Should see us. Hello, hello. Eventually. Well, there, it's a delay, Sean. Yeah, we know. Hello, welcome everyone. We'll be right with you. I can... Welcome, welcome everyone. Good evening. We should be back. And we're back, we're back, we're back. Hey everyone, welcome to our live. So I was lost on Pinterest as I often do, and um, I ran into a technique using some cool paper, and we're going to attempt to recreate it. Yes. <laughs> this could be very bad. I don't think so, because it's epically looks, it is so cool again. So I don't know I mean, if anyone so cool. has ever created these. This is going to be um, a background using alcohol inks and Yupo paper, which we'll mm -hmm. go over all of that. Mm -hmm. um, and let me kind of show you, I did kind of play around with it because I wanted to kind of get an idea. And this is the card. Now what's cool is it, I, you can kind of see it in there, the foil. There will actually be foil on this and it makes amazing backgrounds. So that is what we're going to be creating today. <laughs> so if you guys want to follow along, great. I'm giving you all the links down below. So if you want to purchase anything, make sure to go down below. I also have coupon codes to a lot of the sites. We made this card, or I made this card today, but we're making a completely different card. So this will be interesting. And I'll walk you through kind of how I did it. Now, fair warning to everyone, this is a messy project. <laughs> I know some people aren't oh, messy boy. and stuff like that. Yep. If you guys also have any questions, make sure to let Sean know in caps. That way he knows and can see the question over at his computer and we can answer it for you. Um, and uh, all the links down below, if you use those links, those do help support Ken's creations. Mm -hmm. We appreciate that. It is what's able to make me And make sure to great also content. subscribe to your channel. We are trying to get to right 100,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, you should already be subscribed if you're getting alerts. Then, but make sure to share it. Get other people to, uh, to subscribe to yeah. all that good jazz. And make sure you hit this thing right here called the bell. Oh, yeah. The bell's icon. And then hover over the bell and put always. 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 Does it hover or right click it? I think you right click it. Right click it. Yeah. So yeah. do that. So let's get Perfect. started on the project. So this is the first card I made, um, but we will be doing something a little bit different and we'll walk you through. So since this is a messier project, I would recommend some sort of craft mat. Uh, this is the Ken Oliver craft mat. You want to make sure that that is set down. Now, this is the paper I'm using. There is a lot of different brands, but it's called Yupo. Um, I did a lot of research. It's a little expensive, but it's pretty cool stuff. But I found out that there are people that use other things like um, uh, mailing packages, the ones that you can't tear, yeah, the, white the stuff. back of mm -hmm. the garage sale signs, all that stuff. But I wanted to show you guys first how I used it using the official stuff. And then um, we can show you the alternatives and stuff. So basically what we're doing, and I'll show you on this card, is we're going to be using our alcohol inks and then using some blending solution to kind of get everything to move around. Right when it's drying, you'll get little pools of color like that, and we're gonna put foil on it, and then take it off and the foil should stick to it. Now it is a timing thing. Um, so we kind of have to have our timing just right. So let's go ahead and start with our background. Now I've already cut this down to be the size of an A2 card. Once again, this is, like I said, a little, eh, it's a little messy. It's a lot messy, what am I talking about? Now you can buy, so the colors we're using, we're gonna be using Crimson. Mm, that's the color of Washington State. Dandelion. Pistachio. 
Love a good pistachio. And aquamarine. Now, we failed at this miserably last night, and I found out a couple of reasons why. Number one, I was trying to use non-100% alcohol ink. You have to use alcohol ink. I tried using like Fun Stamper's Journey, which is a true fusion between um, inks. It didn't work as well. But the key to it is you do need the alcohol blending solution. You can see I've already been playing. Look at all that ink on my hands. <laughs> um, this is the key. Now, the other thing is to spread it around to get this cool marble look like so. You can get, they have like a little, um, little air, Tim Holtz has one. It's like a little air gun thing. It, you know, like it's, I don't know, like a, like a turkey baster, but for, for a little. Oh, it, it almost looks like one of those earwax remover thingy balls. Yes, kind of. Kind of. Yeah, 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 using, yeah, 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 yeah. using the baby things. Or you can use a straw, which is what we're going to be using. You can also use air duster on the light setting. So air duster, this setting will be too much, but this setting will be good. The only reason I don't like the straw is two reasons. Number one, if you have a lot of saliva, it will drip on your card, number one. Number two, you have to breathe. And sometimes when you suck in through the straw after you breathe it in, you uh, get to ingest some alcohol ink. And you don't want that. And you do not get drunk from it, which is super sad. Uh. <laughs> All right. So, you guys, the other tip I'm going to give you is don't go over with your alcohol. Start off with little amount, and then we can always add more. We'll if build you drench it, right? the card, it will take forever to dry. Um, Lynn was asking that mailing thing, is that called the Trebek? Or Tribeck? Trebek? Trebek? Mm -hmm. Trebek? Yep, those will work. Yeah, those will work, yep. Is it true that you can use regular 91 or 99% rubbing alcohol for this? Um, I know that some people make their own. I wouldn't, the ink, if I remember right, alcohol blending solution is a little bit of alcohol and glycerin. So that's the reason why. Um, and then you can put this in a spray bottle if you want to do a spray you version. You can, but um, we're not doing that. Right. So okay. um, we're going to start off with this being in a nice uniform. It will change. Now you could put big pools if you want like that. There is no rhyme or reason. But what's cool about this paper is you can already see it's kind of doing its thing and spreading out everywhere. And we will be adding more ink. So uh, this is just to get us started. Now, I have not put anything on yet when it comes to any blending solution. So now we're going to add this. And I'm just going to add it literally into each one of these. And you'll kind of start seeing it move. Darla asks, will DIY alcohol work, ink work? Yeah, probably. There's a whole bunch of recipes and stuff. All right, now that I have it here, before I start spreading it around, I'm going to add some more colors just to... Now, you're, you are kind of wanting to create uh, some pools because the pools is where the magic happens. And so you do kind of want these bigger pools of ink, um, but you can always add more ink. You can't take ink away. That's the one thing. And then we'll show you kind of... You don't have to mix it around. I just like the marble look myself. Your brand of ink that you're using is what? This is uh, Ranger or Tim Holtz. Sometimes on the package, I think it says Aaron Doc or something. I can never pronounce it right. Oh, okay. All right, before we kind of play around with the colors, let's go ahead and add just a smidge more alcohol ink to fill in some of these gaps. All right, so once again, this is kind of where the fun starts. You can take just something like this and... a little light blow to it to move it around mix it in okay you could do that you can also use something like this to move your air you do just a light push you do not want a big push yeah, you'd make a big mess yeah and you kind of want these pools that are kind of you see the pools kind of already forming so i'm going to add some more ink and you could start mixing your colors but you you want to kind of get those colors to blend towards the end there very Harry Potter inspired, she said. Um, you said that uh, Nikki says. This is Harry Potter. Yeah, you got um, Gryffindor. Oh my gosh, you're getting all um, geeky on me. I know Ravenclaw, Slytherin. Although I don't think the other one's yellow. Is the other one yellow? I I don't remember. It has been so long since we've watched Harry Potter, Sean. Adirondack. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. Adirondack. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of more ink alcohol on here. And then I'm gonna kind of start moving around. And 
And remember, we kind of want these bigger pools. That's where our um, foil is eventually going to um, form or where it will can attach to. So you can, if you want to, there are people that like to mix it around. See, the thing I don't like about, I'm gonna be honest, the thing, reason I don't like the straw as much is I don't have as much control. I guess it depends on how good you are at blowing stuff around. You can actually almost see it starting to dry and have that sticky look. Yep, and that's what you're kind of looking for here. So we're just going to kind of move around some of more of this, these bigger piles of ink. <laughs> Looks like the color of Twister. <laughs> A Twister? You know the game Twister? Oh, yeah. Will it work on glossy photo paper? I think somebody's talked about so, that. So um, I researched that because that was my first thing. Because this Upolo paper is a little bit expensive. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, and it, it will. It kind of will, I should say. Um, some people had really good success and some did not. So I would say you can try it. It just doesn't, the nice thing about the Uplo is even before you add the, the blending solution, it's moving around on its own, which is kind of what you want. Um, and on a, a glossy sheet, some people didn't get that. So the, the best results I saw was a lady that did it on the, um, the Tribec or the Tear Free. And then there was another one that was on the back of a garage sale sign, which was really cool. Yeah, that one turned out pretty cool. Yeah. So we're gonna add just a smidge more. And here's the thing is, is it actually dries pretty fast. Um, once again, you're looking for kind of those big pools. So we're gonna add a little bit more yellow so it can kind of get in with my green there. And then I'm gonna add some green in there. You can mix around your colors and get it. All right. How's that looking, Shawnee? Somebody asked water pa watercolor paper? No. Nope. That will not work. So this Yupco we figured out is basically a, a plastic paper. And because of that plastic finish, you are getting that nice where your alcohol inks will spread very easy on it. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we're looking for, um, and Sean can maybe show you here, is it's drying, but we also want kind of those pools. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. We're pretty tight. I can get a little tighter here. So while it's still kind of drying, you have a, a couple seconds here, believe me. Um, you're just going to grab deco foil. I'm going to be using gold. You just need one sheet of it. Now, if you do this and nothing happens, um, you can add more of the solution to get it on there. So don't freak out if my first attempt was horrendous, guys. I'm not even kidding you. All right. So, um, before we do anything, I am going to clean up my little spot here. Was there a question? You were about ready to say something, Shawnee. Uh, I was going to say that somebody was saying that uh, probably a non-porous paper could work, because that's kind of what this stuff is. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, Holly says she just bought this today. <laughs> this oh, paper. really? She says, yeah, crazy expensive. It is. There is some on Amazon that's not as expensive, um, but yeah, it is a little on the spendy side but the results are cool so i think we might be good there is some still that's you want it to be sticky but you don't want like where the water liquid, is still liquid, kind of moving yeah. around because that's where so let's see here All right, I think that's good. So what I do is I just put my paper on there. There are different ways online that people say they do it. Some use a brayer tool. I just put the foil and then a sheet and then I use a braying tool and I'm gonna go over it really good. Now, if you did not let it dry and you start seeing a lot of ink come around there, ooh. No messy, good. messy, messy. Well, and that just means your stuff was too wet. Mm -hmm. And I can show you our first attempt. We did this last night and I thought I was so cool. And I was like, this is going to be so cool, Sean. And then we finished it and Sean was like, wah, wah, wah. 
Epic fail. <laughs> Epic fail. And I was like, well, we're not showing that tomorrow. <laughs> and then it was like, okay, I kind of get it. Because it's like anything else with foil, it's going to stick to adhesive. So you are, you know, if, if we had a Xyron or something and we wanted something sticky, you want that that um, to be a little sticky while it's sticking to that. So we're just going to kind of go over it a couple of times here. All right. All right, let's take a little peek. Ooh, Charlotte from Denmark. Hello. Ooh. Oops. I was so excited to do my reveal and then I dropped it. Ooh la la. Look at the gold, it's so pretty. Sean, you're supposed to be doing Ooh, uh, All right, so let's get you up close. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. So now I will tell people, so some people will take this now and they want to get it really good dry and they're going to take their heat gun. Do not do that. You are going to heat up your foil and boil it. Don't want that. Why do I know this, Sean? Because you probably did it. I did it. It boiled. You'll see it. This used to be all one pool of silver. And I said, I'm going to try to heat it up. But I took my heat gun and my foil went and boiled up. Oh, and I was yeah. like, oh my God. So you can see um, my ink was still a little wet there. There's the, the ink that's still on there. But that's okay. We got a good look. I did what you wanted. Yes, it did, Shawnee. So we are going to put this off to the side and let it completely air dry as we do our next couple of things. So we're, let me clean this really quick. If you guys, I didn't put this link down below, I should have, but if you've never bought this stuff, um, this is from Fun Stamper's Journey. It's the True Fusion Cleaner, and I swear by this. It just picks everything right back up. It struggles a little bit with yellow. There is something in this yellow ink that will stain my crap mat. And we um, thought it was non-stainable, but... Well, it will come up with a magic eraser, but, but definitely clean that off. All right. All right. All right. So the next step is let's go ahead and work on the sentiment that we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to grab. My hand looks purple, but it really isn't. Weird. Da, 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 da. So I'm going to grab some white cardstock here. And this is a die from Little Inkers. It's what's called a dual stitch die. And I love this die. A um, couple of reasons, because when you're done using it, you're going to get a stitch on both sides. So let me show what you. Is what the, uh, so we have a question. Yeah. It said, where did I just see it? Uh, oh, there it is. What is the difference between this and when you have to use a heat laminator? So a heat laminator is when you're using it with... Um, so a heat laminator, the laminator is when you're using it with toner. So mm -hmm. either a toner printer or a toner cartridge. So essentially you're going to print toner onto something or something will already have toner on it. Then when you put foil on that and run it through the laminator, it reheats the, the toner. Basically think of it as an embossing powder. It's reheating that and then it sticks onto that. Mm -hmm. What we're doing here is we're utilizing the ink that is still a little wet. You know how as alcohol ink dries, it gets tacky? Yeah. And you can see it. When you see it drying, you'll see the dry spots, and then you'll see the areas where it pulled together and it's still a little wet and kind of that tacky mm -hmm. feel. We're utilizing that to put the foil on it, and it will stick. There foil, deco foil will stick to really anything adhesive. You can run something through Xyron. You can write something in an adhesive pen. You don't want to put it on while it's super wet, but when stuff starts to get tacky, that's what you're looking for, a sticker consistency. It will peel right off. Yep, it sure does. And somebody was wanting to know which kind of we uh, do we have. This is iCraft deco foil that we got from uh, Thermoweb. Thermoweb. The That's below. the one. Yep. Thermoweb. Yep. 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 So I'm gonna run this through my cuddle bug here, and I'm using the magnetic plates. Now this is called the dual stitch dies. This is one of the reasons I love little inkers. I gave you the link down below. This is currently out of stock. I know, super sad, but you can sign up for an email. But what this will do is in one here 
you're gonna get a double stitch. So we're gonna be using this piece here. So we have a stitch there, you can see right there. Nice. But on the negative part, we also have a reveal with a stitch. Sweet. But we're gonna be using this piece. So Cynthia says that Tim Holt says use hand sanitized cleaner to clean. Ah, I although did not she, know that. Although she's never used it, but it sounds like it, but he says it does work. Okay, good to know. Thanks, good, yeah, good to know. Um, Shai's Art says, I buy Yupo in single large sheets and then cut it to size and it's a little cheaper that way. It's a good idea. Way. It's really not thick. You can cut it really easy. I recommend cutting it to size first before you do this because if you do not let it dry completely and you try to cut it, you can um, do a little damage to your cutter. Oh, All right. Yeah. So we are going to do a sentiment here. And what I'm doing right now is using my embossing buddy. Gotta and this that. will just get to where my powder won't stick. Um, when I'm trying to do this because you don't want it to stick. You want to get that static off. We're going to position this on both sides. And I'm using this. This is from Visible Image. Visible Image was um, at Creativation. I fell in love with them. They're a company in the United Kingdom. They have really reasonable prices. I have a code down below you can use that gets you 15% off. And their shipping is really not bad for coming yep. overseas. Um, I think they give us 15% off for my followers, which is awesome. Yeah. And not a lot of people use these stamps because yeah. they're not here in the Great, States. great people too. Oh my gosh, they're so nice. I fell in love with their booth. So we're just centering that. And I'm going to go ahead and the Tim Holtz craft mat or uh, stamp platform has a clear side. So we want to make sure that that side's the one up. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take embossing ink. This is Brutus Monroe. I have a coupon code down there for that. They've been are gracious enough to give us 15%. Oh, that's part of the stamp. I was like, there is a piece of hair. So genuinely crafty says she did use Tim Holtz's uh, use of hand sanitizer and she says it does work. Perfect. That's nice to Great know. Great information. Nice yes, thank you, thank you. So I'm just inking this up with the embossing ink and we're gonna make sure we get a good transfer. Mom Varden got her simplistic kit today, or stamplistic kit today. Oh, that stuff is so cool. I cannot yeah. wait to get mine. All right. And we are going to take some of the Brutus Monroe gilding or gilded gold powder to match our gold foil. Isn't that right, Shawnee? Yes, to make a match. Match me, go match me, go make me a match. Oh, look at that. So cool. So you can see, um, we have a little bit missing right here. This is why you want that embossing buddy, because if not, if you don't have that, it's gonna be you'll have a little tiny flecks of gold. And you take a, a paintbrush and stuff, but you want a nice, consistent, it's gonna look kind of gritty at first, this stamp does have a little bit of, you can see in the B there, a little bit of what looks kind of like a cut look, which that's part of the stamp. Um, so always check your stamp to make sure it's not something that you you didn't not ink or something of that sort. Save the powder you didn't use. This powder lasts a long time. So we have our thing here. And we're going to go ahead and heat it up now using, this is just my fun stamper's journey. I always turn it on and kind of let it heat up at first. Make sure I got all of my gold where I want it. And then we're gonna see this, I don't know if you guys can see this, but we'll see it turn from the powder to a nice, brilliant gold. There you go. Oh, look at that. You just want to make sure you got it and you hit everything there. 
And you'll know it'll look a little gritty if you didn't do it right. Uh oh. We have stowaways. <laughs> stowaways. Oh my goodness, that's too funny, Angela. She said, my alarm went off for the first time letting me know you guys were live, and I thought my smoke alarm went off. <laughs> All right, look at that, you guys. That's gorgeous. Linda, I am not a full-time crafter. I still have a normal job. For now. For now. All right. So we are ready to build our card. Um, so let's take a look here, make sure we are good and dry. Look at that. That's so pretty. So Guadalupe is asking, I have the stamp platform in my cart, so how could I get the discount? I'm not sure. Is so it is it on Amazon? If it's on Amazon, I don't have a discount for Amazon. And the only other one I linked for that would have been Blitzy, and I don't have a stamp coupon. But Amazon, the stamp platform, I it's an amazing price. It's like 23 bucks. I've never seen it that low. So you are getting an amazing deal at that, that price. There you go. All right. So we are going to go ahead and stick this onto our card. And we're going to go... Uh, yeah, I want to do red at the top. I was going to do blue at the top. I'm just using the Thermal Web. It's a mini, little mini... Uh, ink, mini uh, thing, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and... I just use these cards that I get from Michael's on a bonus buy. Helps me save. Um, oh. So mom who got, mom Barton who got her stamp plisticate, they also sent her uh, the black foam dots. Oh, that was nice of them. As the a owner, sorry that they were late. The, that owner, the owner of that shop is amazing. Yeah, Jennifer, she was nice. She and I have the same humor, so I adore her to pieces. It was funny though, because like she she doesn't mess around, man. If people are in her booth messing around and touching her cards and ruining them, she don't mess around. She'll she'll she'll. And Guadalupe said yes, yes on Amazon on that. Uh, stuff. Yeah, that's a really good price, Guadalupe. So you're not going to get that cheaper anywhere else right, right now. So there we go. Look at that. Oh, oh, it's gorgeous. That looks so great. Gadgets. And then the reason we did this in gold is, of course, it's going to. Yes, Joe, you did catch us live. Look at you. So do I want to, I, you know, normally I pop things up, but I really want this to hit the card exactly there. Now, I didn't want to do too much on the card because you don't want to block it. You'll notice on the first card I did, the color I matched here, I blocked a lot of the color and it matches. You, the foil is so hard to see on TV, but um, you can see it right there. So, so Shazard's talking about translucent Yupo. That Ooh. would be cool to see. Ooh, Makes it look like stained glass. Uh, wow. I need to get that. I know that on Amazon there was a ton of different Uplos you could have gotten. Um, I just went to Michael's because I wanted to do this video today and I didn't want to wait for yeah. Amazon. So Jeanette Elliott says, what is the hand sanitizer for? Um, these alcohol inks, especially yellow stain, can do a lot of staining and other stuff. But um, according to Tim Holtz, if you use hand sanitizer, it will come off. So the nice thing about this die is it's perfect for an A2 card. So it gives you this um, this edge to edge look. Now you could, um, if you wanted to, you could do the white underneath, then cut this and made it that way. But it, this stuff, I once it's done, I don't like to cut it because it could jam up and stuff. But simple card, but look at it. Man, it's just gorgeous. The gold matches with that. You could, um, do foil on this too you could have done it but i love an embossed look i love that look at mm -hmm. oh and it matches that gold perfectly nice and that sentiment is just perfect i choose to see the world in bold color and look at how you can't get more bold than that and you notice it's the english slash french word of color so well, you want to know what's are, so funny is i had to double check that because I put it in my system. It was like, you spelled that wrong. And I was like, that's what their site says. So either they spelled it wrong. And then I looked it up on Google and it was like, yeah. that's correct. What do you guys think? I love it. I absolutely love it. And you can use any foil. So imagine all the different um, combinations. You could get all of the alcohol inks and pinks and purples and reds and stuff. And then use a foil that's pink, purple. It doesn't matter. It could be yeah. any foil. It could be the rainbow foil. It could be anything. Um, it's it's great. So I just am so happy with the way that 
turned out. Yep. Isn't that fun? I like it better than this one. This one's good. Don't get me wrong. But so we have this one. And this one, instead of doing kind of this one, we went from the, you know, the, the rainbow color down. But this one, I did pool. So this one you can achieve by actually dropping. Um, here, I'll show you. I'll Let's show you guys. See. You guys get a little bonus. Bonus. Let so me grab another piece of you. All right. Let's do that. Now, you used the um, Gina K thing of this, right? Yeah, that's the Gina K Thermal Web. So, Gina K Thermal Web. So, let's take a quick peek at this here. So, so. I'll show you a fun way. This stuff, you guys, I'm telling you right now, it's so addictive. Where, what happened to my Uflow paper? Yeah, on, where? Cool. Okay. So, what's fun on this? Let's do. Um, let me grab my yellow, greens, and blues. Those okay. three colors. Okay. There we go. So let's play around and show you here. Okay. So you can definitely do this. This is easy. You're just going to go and not move it around a lot. But I'm going to show you what's lots of fun. So we're going to take blue. Start. No, let's start with yellow, actually. So we're going to start with yellow and just kind of put big dots like so at different places on the page. I mean big, we're talking big dots like that, right? So before you add any other colors, we're gonna take this alcohol ink and just put a dot in the center. And you're gonna see it makes these cool looking rings already. You know, we need another one, right? It's almost mesmerizing what this it stuff is. Okay. So. Will the foil be permanent once it dries? Yes. Okay. So now, ready? Would the metallic alcohol inks give the same effect as foil? Mm, I don't know. I would no. have to try it. Yeah. We definitely would have to try it. So if you just do it right in the center and let it do its thing. It'll slowly pull out. And what's cool is where the yellows meet, you get where we could put silver. So all these areas where it didn't meet, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add a little yellow dot. And then you follow the dot with alcohol blending solution. And Let's just add a little over here. This one, we're not doing a dot. We're just kind of filling in the areas. Almost like doing a marble effect. Yep. Almost. So it looks cool. It will start mixing, which is fine. Now we're going to add blue, not on the green. We're going to add it in different spots. And look at that. That's gorgeous. Isn't that fun? Even though it's it splattered somewhere, it still looks great. Yeah, that's the other thing you need to watch. Just t tap your alcohol ink a little. And you'll get these little tiny splatters. You can see one right there. I mean, there is no... Rhyme or reason. Just and there's no right way or wrong way. Just have fun with it. And then as you are doing it, you can add alcohol ink and get it to do its thing. I would say start with your light color first because as you can see, this is filling in the area and um, it's hard to put yellow on top. <clears throat> and you could leave it like this or we could add some air, which is what we're going to do next. And you can keep layering. And then what I like to do is go back in the center of these. Just like that. Isn't that so cool? I get lost in this, Sean. And it doesn't take a lot. Just a single little dot on this paper is all you need. Mom Varden says that the metallic inks does not work. Good to know. You guys, I'm in a trance. Yes. 
I don't even, I'm not even sure I want to blow this stuff around. Jan, when you have a chance, um, uh, message Ken personally on that question. Yeah, what was looks, the question? Uh, she says, off subject, but mm. I subscribed to Chalk Couture today. I have no idea how to, how, Ooh, the, I'll send admin, you an email. how the admin part of it works. Yikes. Um, so I probably, I haven't checked my email all day because I've been having fun with the Upo Playper. So I will check your email and um, I'll get an email off to you. It looks like a peacock. Oh, it does. So, I will say it's kind of hard to say, okay, when do you stop? Because look at how much fun this is. Hello, Linda. Who is all... This is... Okay, I need to okay. begin. Okay. okay. Start, so, start using the air. So, now you can... If you're going to... If you like this look and you don't want to get rid of it, I would let it air dry. Okay? Because as soon as you start doing air, it will start moving around. But if you like this kind of dot look, go in the center of your dots and sl just very little air. And this stuff is already drying. Drying, and we just want those pools. Reminds me of the pools in Yellowstone. Yes, it does. So I use this versus the straw, but you can use the straw. You can also use that little thing that Tim Holtz has. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's like a little squeeze bottle thing. Yeah, it looks like one of those things you get the. Uh... Earwax, nose, stuff they use. What color foil should we put on this? I'm going to uh, look. I'm on it. He's going to go look. I don't know. I'll Is zoom it in. more blues or teals? Um, blues. Teal. All right. That's yeah. teal. All right, whatever. Well, is it... Whatever. I, I, it's what I think it is. I mean, everybody has a different thing. Yeah, but. it's this color. Okay, that's fine. Will you get a piece out for me? I will. Oh my god. You guys, I could just make backgrounds all day. Couldn't you? Yes, uh, Jeanette Elliott. It is special paper called Yupo. The link is down below. There you go. That's still pretty wet in area, so I'm going to let it... Try just a hair more. I mean, you do want it wet, but you don't want it super wet where... Oh my gosh. Look at how pretty this is. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed, everyone. Aaron, Aaron says you can stop anytime. Addictive, isn't it? All right, so we're going to add this blue piece. This might be a little too wet still. Oh, I think it's perfect. Let's try it. It's either, like Seanism says, it's either going to be wet or it's not. It's called the Tim Holtz Distress Marker Spritzer. Yes, that's what it's called. It basically is like a, an impressive... Uh... Oh, Joy and I have the same last name. <laughs> Hi, Joy. <laughs> you are the king of random. I know. We are the real McCoys. You guys, I'm telling you what. Get some of this paper. Get some of this ink. Right now, drop everything. Well, after we're done on this video. Yeah. And have fun because I'm telling you, there is no right or wrong way to do these. I thought the first time I will say, do not put too much ink. Start with very little ink and let the alcohol do its thing. Huh, Shami? That is you true. You guys want to see my failed attempt? Let me see if I can find it in the trash. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, look at that one. That was another one I was playing with, Sean. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, this one's still wet. Ooh, it's all wet. Still wet. Dun. First attempt. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> this is what it did to the foil. Yeah, it was bad, you guys. Wouldn't even stick at all. Because I was like, it's getting too dry. It's getting too dry. And John's like, just let it do its thing. And I, no patience, I tell you, none. So I was like, nope, I'm taking it off. And Sean was like, all right, well, you shouldn't. And I was like, well, listen here, Sean. Silly Girl Lace, uh, this foil is from... Deco. Uh, Deco. It's Deco foil. It is from ThermoWeb. It is in the link down below. Any foil will work. So if yeah, you any foil will work. Heidi Swap, meat yep. foil, Anna Griffin foil, um, any foil will work. I just like Deco foil because of the size. Um, Tarita, we started at, uh, I think, 4.30. Uh, Pacific time. Joy, we are from Spokane, Washington. 
We're right next to Idaho, so we're on the east side of Washington. Oh my gosh. Now, wow. I'm going to zoom in so we can see that. Don't have, a, if you want more foil, wow. so this is, didn't do a lot of foil. I mean, it just added almost like a granite look. So it's not, the, the gold, there's a lot more foil. This is just little highlights. What if you want more foil, Sean? What do we do? If you want more foil, you can put some more um, you can pooling. Go, you can, yep. You can you go can, pool in some more ink if you want. You can do something like this where you just kind of go over it with your finger and it will pick up in spots like there. Yeah, a little bit. Um, so you can do whatever you want. I'm not going to add too much foil to that because I really like this look. It gave it kind of, so wouldn't who, you almost say like a granite look? Yeah, almost. Look at that. So um, Jan was just asking, do the big brand stores carry this paper? Yes. So I got mine at Michael's today. Where's my package? Sean has yeah, my package. I got the package here. Um, okay. So hand sanitizer will take this off. Do we have hand sanitizer? Uh, yes, upstairs on the kitchen, somewhere it. right around the kitchen uh, sink, maybe on the thing right there. So this is what it looks like. That's $9.99. So this is $9.99. And I think you get two of them, or 10, sorry, you get 10 of them. So that's basically a buck a sheet. And these are uh, five by seven for the size here. I don't think it has a, uh, one side is different than the other. I think it's all just the same. You can do any, either side. What did you say about a code? They can use a 50% off coupon on it. 50% coupon. So there you go, you can get it for half price. So let's see if this works. A little bit. A little bit, a little better. Does it help on your fingers and hands, maybe? Dun, dun, dun. It's all right. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. This stuff will take your fingernail polish off, but this literally will get stuff off your hands. I'm pretty sure it's eating away my skin, nah. but it's amazing stuff. Is Yupo a new product? I don't know. I don't um, the videos I saw online were going so. back quite some time so i think there was a video on there from 2013. see look at that it takes all the ink off nice i love that stuff it's something about that yellow so connie's asking so is the foil sticking to what looks like the ridges between the color pools yes so basically the, the best way to think of it is wherever your, your ink pooled at. Uh-oh. 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 Did your phone, your phone just... Well, because you don't have it plugged in, so it probably died. Oh, dear goodness. Sean was My... not prepared oh, for this no. live. See this cord Us here, Sean? Usually I have this it This cord has right. electricity going on. <laughs> yeah, I know. And the electricity runs from the plug-in. No. to the phone and if you don't have electricity guess what happens it dies <laughs> yeah, so is... now you guys get to see us this way so what i will do is i will i will come to you i can bring i can zoom in no i will come to them <laughs> sean they're not going to hear you very well well you can talk then i will talk so there's no light there <laughs> cool. oh yeah that's not very good lighting huh no All right. So essentially to answer your question, since I can't show you on this camera anymore. I can zoom in a little more. So anywhere the ink there. pooled at. Ooh. See how tight we can get that Whoa. one, that's pretty good. Whoa. Anywhere that ink pooled, you'll see kind of where obviously the colors all pooled together. That's where, and you want it to dry just to where it gets tacky. Kind of like when paint's drying and it gets to that tacky, it won't come off, but it's that. Wherever it pools, that is where it will, the foil will stick. There you go, look at that. There you go, Shawnee. Ta-da. So any questions or anything? Let's see if I missed any here. Um, did that one. Okay, thanks, I'm going to pick my favorite. Fun stuff, guys, new adventures. Time to go make your Uplo background cards. No, Linda says Yupo's been around for a while. It has. Mom Varden got diamond dot kits, 40% off. Ooh. There's you a can use your coupon at Michael's for diamond dots? Wow. 
Ermine. I don't. Nikki Ermine. says I don't have the patience for diamond diamond painting. Here's I want to. I want to try it. The thing on diamond dots, I'm afraid, is it would kill my back, because I have yeah. Any, posture, anything so anything I, for this? I mean, I think for anybody, it's, this will be hard yeah, to do. Yeah, I mean, after a while, that would just really get. But to the me. nice thing about this thing, this comes up like almost this high. It's so high. So you guys, I have to tell you, um, I've done a lot of cool backgrounds. You know, using you know, there's distress things and stuff. This one is probably one of my favorite backgrounds because you get lost in it. Mm -hmm. You literally start and especially what's in your mind, you're thinking, okay, this is what it's going to be like. And then it's, it's almost like the, 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 the pooling and stuff. You can do tons of different stuff. I've seen people have pools in all four corners and then blow it out, blow it in. You can mix the colors. I had so much fun just kind of testing and stuff. I mean, there was one, it's probably back in the trash, where I, I embossed it first and then did it. There's so many different ideas and things. You can even go back over it um, and rehydrate stuff. So, see, I can go back over it with my alcohol ink and rehydrate and start getting even more coolness. Sean's getting that other camera. I'm trying, I'm trying. So you can go back, I'll wait here, and it won't hurt the foil at all. It actually will go right over the foil. It doesn't get rid of the shine on the foil, anything, and it just gives us a really, because it's dried, let me see if I can show you here. Look at that. Those are new, watch. At first it doesn't look like it's doing anything, and then just watch it. It's like a meteorite hitting earth. And you can actually add layers this way. You can add more ink and play around with it and let it dry some more. The possibilities, Sean, are endless. endless. Pew, 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 pew. Seriously, guys, I'm, I'm obsessed, literally. <laughs> How could you not love, like, have fun with this? What happened to my green? Oh, here it is. Well, let's add some green dots into here and let it literally dry this way. You gotta do this. Pew. Did you like my sounds, Sean? I did like your sounds. They were really good, right? Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. The blue is really dynamic. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it is. And I'm not adding any more blending solution. I just think I if could. you added something way off, like a red. What do you think that would do? I don't know. Let's try it. Let's just see what oh happens. Oh my gosh, Sean. You could ruin my entire project. I put the red in some of the areas of... Uh, <gasps> Oh looks my like, god. That almost looks like an eyeball. <laughs> Do it to this big one right there. That is so cool. Wow. You've totally changed the dynamics. You guys, I'm telling you, go get this and then share it on my Facebook page. I want to see what you sorry, guys, what sorry. you guys create. I was on the wrong camera. <laughs> you were on the wrong camera? And we were still up on the front end. Oh. oh, we got it now. I turned it on but didn't switch over. Oh, you are not... I know, it's You are do not it. doing a good job today, Shawnee. <laughs> bad day today. Bad day for Shawnee. We've been freaking out. Good thing I wasn't doing anything bad or anything on that camera. They would have been like... Yeah, sorry, <gasps> I had no idea. I am now obsessed. Now we can see it. Look at that. You guys, Where's... you need to all go get this stuff right now and make creations. And then share with me what you're doing. So what would happen if we add, I'm getting crazy. I don't want to add, keep adding too much color, but this is too much fun. See, I can't read the <laughs> comments when it's behind my head almost. <laughs> what happens if we put yellow then in the center? Shouldn't it give us orange? Mm, maybe. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. Yes, I'm fired. Okay. Sorry, He's Kika. fired. Yes, I'm he fired. He is so fired, you guys. This reminds wow. me of when we went to Seattle. There's this some some guy b like blows glass for a living. Oh, um, Dale Chihuly. Yeah, and he has a whole ceiling of like blown glass, blown and glass. that's what this reminds me of. Yeah, we have but to add you a little. Need, you need some of your stuff, yeah. Oh yeah. well, thank you, <laughs> Sean. 
I mean, I will definitely take direction from the the best cameraman I have ever hired in it my life. It wasn't the life. camera. It wasn't the camera. It was the switch. I forgot to switch. That's what I forgot to do. Well, there's going to be a time I forget you. No, no. Oh, I like this. How this one turned out. Me like the. That. How cool is this, you guys? Total fun, huh? I'll look at questions, Sean. Okay. It looks like cells on a microscope, yeah. yeah. Where would we share with you on Facebook? So my Facebook page is just um, uh, Ken's Creations. So uh, you can share there. That's so cool. I love this. Now you can let it dry like this. You can move around stuff so we can you use, can, I can. use this. Oh, it's already almost dry. Yeah, I know. Literally almost dry already. You can add more color. Um, I mean, I'm obviously addicted, so I'm just adding more color. It's just fun. And you guys remember, we've already put foil on this. You can kind of still see the foil underneath, but. Yeah, there's a little foil like right here, some blue that. There's foil here. Do you want me to put more foil on it? You can try and see what it does. Okay. Do you want the same color? No, let's try do. You can try a different color? It's too wet, first of all. Yeah, that part is. Can you put the card through the laminator for more foil? Um, mm. I don't know. I don't think so. A laminator, the heat's not going to really do anything with it. While I'm doing this, Sean can take a close-up look at these cards so you guys can see it. Sean, you want to look at those cards? And I'll get some foil yeah. ready. Here. Another close-up for these here. So I done, so let's do... Ooh, let's do this one. I don't know what this is gonna do because this has got flecks of color in it. Does it? Ooh. Oh, is that the diamond or the? Oh, that'll look interesting. Okay, is it? Do you think it's dry enough? Oh, let's see if you're. See what happens when you put it. Let's try okay. that one. We're gonna try this, guys. This could either make it or break it, and then we gotta be done because Sean's gotta take one of our dogs to the vet. I got. We got a little good time. So, We're coming up to our hour anyway, so. See what happens when we finish a project in lightning speed. We have all this time to experiment. Planets. Let's see. Oh, you can see where it's sticking. Can you? Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> all right. No, hmm. not yet. I don't feel like the planets have aligned yet fully. I don't know if this is going to be My cat good. keeps chasing your hand. That's funny. How did you foil your stamped image? That was not foiled. That is... Oop. Well, we're lifting that. Okay. Um, that was embossing powder. There you go. Yeah. Whoa. You can see what was still wet just by looking at the back end. Oh, yeah. You can still see that. Yeah. So, so you got a diamond or that... What they call a crystal cut or whatever they call this color. Yeah, it's all right. It's cool. Very cool stuff. Yeah, move it around. Nice. I know it's not for everyone. Some people see a background like this and they're like, it's kind of chaotic, but I love how it turned out. It's yeah. very fun. I feel like you really can't mess it up. I feel like it's... Yeah, well, I mean, you can mess the camera up because there was a time where Sean, you know. I know. He'll be written up and reprimanded. 74, uh, 74 pound you upo paper, yes. That's your punishment. I know. Ah! <laughs> yes, the vet the vet trip is just for her is for her yearly so checkup. So fun! Look at that. Oh. Isn't that cool? Should I zoom in? Um, sure. Here, I can use this camera again if you want. That's no, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's end on that. So they can see everything again. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And um, definitely, if you do this, share them on my Ken's Creations. You can actually share them to Ken's Creations Facebook page um, and see all the cool things you do or what you come up with. I think it's a very cool technique. And I had a blast. It was awesome. 
Lisa says, since it's a background, you can cover up anything you don't like, which is a very good point. Yeah. There is ribbon here because there was a no bueno. That is where I boiled oh. my foil. Oh. So that's why that ribbon is there. This one turned out perfect. I love that one. And I actually kind of like this. I don't know if I like the diamond look. I think the diamond takes away from it. So I would go with just a regular single color. Yeah. But Or maybe a smaller version of that. So but look how cool that is. It's just so fun. Love it. Yep. All right, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be back next week for some lives and some mm -hmm. other stuff and we're close to our chalk tour convention so yes, things are. are getting crazy in oh, the house lots of busyness so thanks for doing this and watching and don't forget to share what you created over on the ken's creations facebook page bye everyone bye bye